Amazing morning and welcome to the Sunday morning virtual sanctuary for St. Peter Faith Tabernacle and the City of Praise Church of Chicago. Two amazing fire baptized holiness churches gathered together to share the gospel of the Lord on this fourth Sunday. It is our youth Sunday. It's our HYP and YPI Sunday and we thank God for another day's journey. Hallelujah. This platform is made so that we're able to share in the joy of the Lord, that we're able to fellowship, that we're able to see God. Hallelujah. And a whole virtual experience. Get ready for an experience with our young people on today. We are one church with one gospel and one goal, and that is to seek the Lord. Let's join our service already in progress. I'm good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. You go from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation. We worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you for who you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Amen. Now, please receive our prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be our name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us on, on these trespasses we as, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation and the power and deliver us from evil. Mm -hmm. but, uh, for thine in the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Now back in the hands. Taylor. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'll be reading Psalms 24. The earth and everything on it belongs to the Lord. The word world and all its people belong to him he built the earth on the water he built it over the rivers who can go up on the lord's mountains who can stand in his holy temple only these who not have done evil who have pure hearts who have not used my name to hide their lies and who have not made false promises god good people ask for the lord to bless others they ask their savior to do good things. They try to follow God. They go to God of Jacob for help. 
gates proudly lift your hands, open ancient doors, and glorious king will come in. Who is the glorious king? He is the Lord, the powerful soldier. He is the Lord, the war hero. Gates proudly lift your hands, open ancient doors, and the glory king will come in. Who is the glory king? The Lord all-powerful is the glorious king. And the, word, and the word of the Lord is blessed. Praise the name of the Lord and the King of glory shall come in. Will you please clap your hands with us this morning? Celebrate brother, um, brother Caleb Watson, amen. And brother Landon Moses Hill for our morning scripture and our morning prayer. We are so excited to be in our HYPU and YPI session. This is the last fourth Sunday in the year 2020, and I know that somebody is glad about it, amen? Not only glad that this year will be over, but the fact that we made it all the way up until this point, we glorify, we magnify the name of the Lord. It's HYPU and YPI Sunday, and we're going to do our creed, hallelujah. We're going to do our creed on today, amen, our creed on today. Let's do our, our creed. And it's called myself. We all know it. Let's do it from here. Let's say it. I have to live with myself. And so I want to be fit for myself to know. I want to be able as the days go by, always to look myself straight in the eye. I don't want to stand with the setting sun and hate myself for the things I have done. I don't want to keep on a closet shelf a lot of secrets about myself and fool myself as I come and go into thinking no one else will ever know the kind of person I really am. I don't want to dress myself up in sham. I never can hide myself from me. I see what others will never see. I know what others will never know. I never can fool myself and so. Whatever happens, I want to be self-respecting and conscious free. Come on and clap your hands. That's myself, that's our theme. That's our YPI creed. And we are so excited about our creed on today. The standard of expression, the standard of living, the standard of being truthful and honest to yourself. Somebody just say myself. Good morning to our Facebook platform. Good morning to our YouTube platform. Good morning to our website viewers. Good morning to you, the Zoom um, family on today. Welcome to our Sunday morning worship experience. Amen. We're so grateful to have you here and we're going to continue with our youth worship and brother Josiah Hill is getting ready to come with our Sunday morning youth theme song, Yield Not to Temptation. Amen. Take a morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right, we'll prepare for song. Thank you. 
Amen. Thank you. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands for Brother Josiah. Yield not to temptation. Amen. I'm just looking at our Facebook platform and we have members who said, learned that song over 60 years ago. Amen. To God be the glory. And it's still going strong on today. Is the Lord worthy today? Hallelujah. Amen. We bless the name of our God on today. Amen. Sister Jackie, did you want Sister Allison to go first? Oh, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm just looking at I'm just looking at the setup. Praise God. Come on and clap your hands this morning and let's celebrate God. We're so grateful to be a part of a testifying, triumphant bunch of believers who don't mind giving God the glory, giving God the praise, giving God the honor. Amen. Our Lord is worthy to be praised in the city yes. of our God. Hallelujah. Sister Hunter, we want you to go ahead and unmute um, that your phone. Amen. So we can let mother in. Amen on today so mother can give her testimony. We're grateful for our senior saints. Amen. We're grateful for our young saints. We're grateful for all of our saints. Amen. And we want to make sure that we give our, our option for our um, our callers to get their testimony in on first. Amen. Mother Lane, are you live this morning? Yes, I am. Testify, mother. All right. Give on to the Lord and to my pastor and to everyone that's on the line. Truly, I'm grateful in my heart. And I thank God for another day. I thank God because he has blessed me and brought me up until this present time. I thank him because I'm yet saved from sin. I'm sanctified. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost and have a mind as ever before to live for the Lord. If there's anything I want to do is please him. And I'm trying every day to please him and to walk up right before him. I desire you all to pray for me. Praise the name of the Lord, and we bless God's name. Come on, saints. Now, let's light this line up. To our Facebook audience, you can put your um, testimony in the chat. Put your prayer request there. To our Zoom audience, you can do the same thing. Put your prayer request, your testimonies right there where you are. Amen. Let's tell God how good he is to us on today. You ready to testify? Come on, you fire baptized church, and let's tell of the goodness of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I honor the Lord on today. Amen. To my pastor and to all of our pastors, all of our saints, and uh, especially, especially to our youth on today. Amen. I thank God for them. I thank God for this day that has been set aside. Amen. I was looking at Ecclesiastes 12 chapter. It says, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, I thank God for the word. This day to say, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. But most of all, I thank God for salvation on today. I thank God for this day. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I'm glad to be in it. I'm just glad to be a part of this fire baptized Holy Church, especially when we can come together and testify and give glory unto God. To God be the glory for the things that he has done in my life. I'm saved on today and I'm sanctified. Have the Holy Ghost desire your prayers to pray for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. God bless you, church family. I'm glad to be in the service. Amen. Just one more time. Amen. Finding myself yet saved and sanctified. Amen. I will be in a different attire at this moment, but how many know I'm grateful? <laughs> Amen. To be in the presence on today. Amen. I tell you, I'm so glad, so glad to be a part of a great ministry. Amen. Who gives God the praise, the honor and glory he deserves. Amen. The Wallace family is praying for each and every one of you. Continue to pray for the Wallace family. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning, Good morning Pastor. All the pastors that are on, on the air with us this morning, all the mothers, I give an honor to God. I got a little piece of song in my heart. You know, I can't yes. sing, but I want to give it. That's all right. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. 
I thank him for this day. I thank him for his grace yeah. and his mercy. I thank him for all of you. Where would I be without my church family? I just want to say I give an honor to God once again and thank him for who he is in my life today. Amen. Happy birthday, mother. Amen. Come on and tell it this morning. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You, Lord. Lisa said it all when she said, yes. thank you, Lord. I thank just want to thank you, Lord, for yes. everything you've done for me. God, you've yes. been better to me than I've been to myself. Thank and he you. is just so good, so worthy of the praise this morning. And we thank you, Lord. Yes. Sister Lisa, you set the stage this morning. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank if there ever was a time that we needed to praise God, it is right now. And we thank you, Lord. Yes. We thank you this morning, God, yes. for this youth day. You know, Sister um, yes. uh, Joshua said, as for me in my house, we're going to praise the Lord. And yes. then the scripture says, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he's older, he will not depart. It may seem like they're not following the way, but they're going to always remember. I thank the Lord that we have in this church, we've set aside this time for our children. Because if we don't train them, somebody else is going to train them. We just thank the Lord for this ministry and thank the Lord for all that's going on this morning. Pray my continuance in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Any other testimonies on today? Glory to God, wonderful savior. We know this platform is still new, even though we've been doing it for six months, eight months. I'm not sure how many months, it seemed like forever. Amen, we okay. want to take this another testimony because this may be oh, your last time. But one thing that I do know it. is that this is the last Sunday in this year. Glory yes. to the name of the Lord. When we see you again on a Sunday morning, if the Lord be so good and so kind, it will be the brand new year and we're grateful and we're thankful for what the lord has done oh, i wish somebody would just put in the comments lord i just want to thank you oh sister hunter i hear it. lord i just want to thank you i want to thank you for being so good to me hallelujah i see somebody unmuting themselves so i'm gonna be quiet so you can go ahead and testify hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord saints I just want to give an honor to God, who is truly the head of my life. I want to give an honor to the pastors and, and all the saints of God. I'm truly, truly grateful to be saved, sanctified, baptized, and filled with his precious gift of the mm -hmm. Holy Ghost. I can't even begin to tell you what kind of year I have been having. And with the pandemic and all the things that's going around in the world today, God is good to me. God has continued to carry me when I couldn't carry myself. God continued to bless me when I thought little of myself. God has brought unity into my family, and it just brings tears to my eyes. Hallelujah. My Way out there in the world. He was doing weed. He was doing ecstasy. He was doing everything that he thought he was big enough and bad enough to do. This young man has given his life to the Lord. He is ministering to the youth. It is just incredible to see a complete 360. I just thank God because mm -hmm. prayer. My family yeah. has been praying for man he's 23 years old and he is just sounds like a completely different person and you could just feel it he's like i am a chosen one auntie i'm chosen and the devil was attacking me i said i'm glad that you know it baby continue yeah. to pray and continue to put your armor god on baby because this is just the beginning i just thank god i can't thank him enough i just feel like he just opened the windows of heaven and he's poured us out a blessing that we don't have room I thank God for what he's doing in my life. I thank him for my health and my strength. I thank him for being God and God all by himself. And compared to thee, there is no other. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. He's given me a peace that I've never known before. He's given me a joy. It's my heart I can't even explain. It's better than all the money in the world to be able to wake up and feel good about myself. So continue to pray my strength in the Lord as I pray for you. Amen. Thank God today for another day's know. journey. Honor yeah. to my pastor and to all the pastors, to all the officials today. I'm so glad for today. 
Today is the last Sunday in the year of 2020. Yes, yes. I'm so glad that the Lord has brought me thus far. Hallelujah. And I can't thank him enough for it. Amen. On our youth today, I tell you, they are performing today. And that's the way it should be. Oh, yeah. Sister Hunter said, if we don't train them, I promise you somebody else will. But I'm glad today for them. I'm glad today for salvation. I'm glad that one day when I was a sinner, the Lord saved me. And I'm glad about it today. I'm sanctified. I have the Holy Ghost. And I'm blood washed today. Amen. And I'm on this way. I'm running for my life. Amen. If anybody asks you, what's the matter with me? Tell them I'm saved. I'm sanctified. Holy Ghost filled. And I'm fire baptized. Yes. And I'm running for my life. Running. Amen. Running. I yes. desire your prayer yes, that you continue to pray for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Giving honor to God and to my pastor and to everyone that's on the line today. I thank God for, for Jesus on today. I thank him for how he came down. He laid aside his majestic uh, uh, crown and he came down for us to save our souls. I thank God for this morning. I thank God for my health. I thank God for my life. I thank God for my strength. Most of all, I thank God for Jesus, and I thank God for giving me a mind to serve him. There are others that don't have the mind, but God, I don't take it for granted. I thank God because he gave me a mind. It's not something I came up with my own. It wasn't my idea, but it was his. He called me out and gave me a mind to serve serve him. On this morning, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I know Jesus. Most of all, I'm glad that he knows me. Hallelujah. He chose me and he blessed me and he has carried me all the year through. Oh, up to now I'm getting ready to make a change. Yeah. Hallelujah. Change in age and change in year. And I just thank him for what he has done. He has done so much for me. And I ask you, to continue praying, praying for me, but I thank God for how he has delivered me in terms of my health, how he has delivered me in terms of my salvation. I thank you for everything he has done, for he is a great king and a mighty God. And I thank him on today, for he is God and there is none other. So pray my strength in God. Hallelujah, Baha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior, wonderful Savior, yes, mighty God. Yes, yes. And DRE had herself unmuted for a while. DRE, you come on and give your testimony this morning. We're so grateful for our DRE of the Southwest Ohio District being with us on this morning. Amen. Let's clap our hands for Pastor Green. Amen. 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 Lord, I just want to thank you. Yes. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for being so good to me. So yes. good to me. Hey, Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Hey, Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for being so good to me, so good to me. Amen. Praise the Lord on Amen. this morning. I give honor to God who is the head of my life. Amen. I thank God for being so good to me. It's a blessing to see the, the uh, faces of the saints on this morning, to hear the voices of the saints. I just praise and thank God for all and everything that he has done in my life, all and everything that he's doing in my life, amen. If the Lord, I was singing on last night that if the Lord never does anything else for me, he has done enough, amen. He has brought me, he has pulled me through, amen. He has pulled me out of the miry clay. And for that, I'm thankful, amen. Not just looking back over my life, um, and, and, and being thankful for what he's done for me. But looking back over the year of 2020, I am thankful because he could have cut me off. I could have lost, I could have took my last breath during my COVID-19 uh, sickness. 
Amen. I could have died on the surgery table. Oh, I could have lost my mind behind some things. Amen. But I thank God for bringing me this far. Amen. And not only me. Amen. I thank him for the church. Amen. For uh, true overcomers in Christ. I thank him for giving us the strength to hold on. To hold on. Amen. I just thank God. I woke up this morning and I said, I'm, let me get up early enough that I'm going to hit up some Zoom, some Zooms this morning before I go into my service this evening at five o'clock. And I especially came on here to tell my sweet thing, Mother Carolyn Washington, I mean, Roberts, happy, happy birthday. I know I won't be able to make it to the program because I'll be in service, but I want you to know and I want you to hear it from me that I did get the invitation from Sister Yolanda. And if I wouldn't be preparing for my service, I would be there. God bless you. And I love you. God bless you, Pastor Roberts, uh, Pastor Hill, um, our National DRE, to everybody on the line. Amen. I just pray and ask that you keep me and my family lifted up in your prayers. Amen. And God bless you all. We're looking for a grand new year if the Lord say the same in Jesus' name. I love you, Mother Cole. Quit. I think I heard your voice. Bless your and heart. sister love Day, you it's good to hear the saints. Amen. Mother Lane, it's good to hear your voice. Amen. And I, I'm just so grateful. I thank God for this teaching church. Amen. Sister Hannah said that if they don't train us up in the way that we ought to go, I thank God because they trained us. Amen. Trained us up. They showed us the way that we ought to go. And if we don't make it, it ain't because nobody didn't take out the time to teach us. If we don't make it, we don't make it because we purpose not to make it. Amen. I thank God for this teaching church on this morning. Pray my strength in the Lord. Well, I'm glad I yes. said and I'm sanctified, but I'm Holy Ghost filled, and I'm fire, I'm fire, I'm fire, fire. I'm fire. 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 Oh, bless hey. the Lord. I'm fire baptized this morning. God, I, I, I wish somebody was excited about the fire this morning. God, I Woo, God. Yeah, glory to God that brought us all the way. I wish somebody was all, the way. all the way. I've been all in this space the for the past couple of years talking about I'm all in. Oh, but I, today I'm telling you all the way. I'm in all, all the, the way. way, all the way, all the way. I need somebody yes, on Lord. Facebook to say all the way. I oh, need somebody all on the way. to shout all the way, all, all the yes, way, Lord. all the way. Glory to God, all the, all way. the way. We're so grateful for what the Lord is doing and what God is getting ready to do. And at this time, Sister Daniels is getting ready to come to you and share with you on how you can sow on good ground on this morning. Let's receive Sister Daniels. Good morning, and welcome to our services. The ways that you can sow into our ministry are as follows. To the City of Praise, you can cash up at cash up us at dollar sign FBA Chicago, or you can donate to www.fbachicagoofficial.org. Click on donations. And to St. Peter Ministries, you can cash up them at dollar sign St. Peter FBH or you can use their Zelle, which is St. Peter FBH1 at hotmail.com. Or you can mail your payments to 1712 Hoveland Court, Evanston, Illinois, 60201. Thank you for your cheerful giving. God bless you. Praise the name of our God, Father, in Jesus' name for the seat that is going to be sold on today. We say thank you and we glorify and we magnify your name. Lord, we thank you for seed time and we thank you for harvest. We thank you for the gift of sowing. We thank you for what you're getting ready to do in the life of the believer. We pray now, God, that you will continue to move, 
that you will continue to manifest, God, that you will continue to shift our seed, God, shift our thinking, God, shift us, God, to the promise that you have provided and that you made for our lives. We thank you for these two ministries. We thank you, God, for the fruit of their labor. And we pray now, God, for a harvest. We pray, God, for the reaping. And we thank you for benefits as believers. This we pray today in Jesus' name as the people of God here and there and everywhere continue to sow good ground, good seed, in Jesus' name, amen. Clap your hands now as our own sister Katie Brown comes to you with a reading on this morning. Let's receive Sister Katie Brown. I'm here to give some words of encouragement to people who may need it. Looking back gives you the authority to envision what's to come. If I could erase my past and start all over again, I probably would. But then where would my testimony come from? For every tear you've cried, God saw, and every prayer you prayed, God heard, and has not forgotten, but is preparing you to receive what he has in store. So God is on your side. Be encouraged when times get rough. Amen. Amen. Be encouraged. When times get rough, come on and celebrate our own sister, Amen. Katie Brown. Amen. Amen. We appreciate those wonderful words of encouragement. I feel like saying the doors of the church is open. Are you encouraged on today? Amen. Amen. So now we're going back to Evanston. Amen. Sister Allison Watson is getting ready to come, and she's getting ready to bless us in music ministry. Let's receive our own sister, Allison Watson. Clap your hands for sister Allison. Not no more we got the whole world in this hand. 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 We got the whole world. Princess Allison Watson, he's got the whole world in his hands. Didn't That's Sister Allison do an amazing job on tonight? Amen. Let's celebrate all of our young people, our youth ministry, our HYPU and YPI together. Amen. Celebrating the Lord on this last Sunday in the year of 2020, whereby we are made glad. You all are incredible. You are awesome. You are great and you do mighty things in the kingdom of God and we celebrate you. Amen. I've been, I've been hearing throughout this worship, train up a child in the way that he should go. When he's old, he won't depart from it. So we thank God for the structure of our HYPU and our YPI. We thank God for our parents, allowing them to function in faith. We thank you, parents. We thank you to all of our sponsors, to our, our members who support and push them on. Thank you to our Facebook platform for encouraging them. Thank you for the Zoom platform and to our YouTube platform for encouraging our young people. All right, we're so grateful and we're so thankful for the presence of you on today. 
Hallelujah. Let's go to the word of the Lord. Let's go to the word of the Lord. Our God is so great and he's greatly to be praised. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you and we thank you. We appreciate you, God. You're so wonderful, Lord. You're so great and so gracious to us. And Lord, we stand here, God, Lord, just in a heart of, with a heart of gratitude, telling you thank you, Lord. Lord, it's been a long year. Oh, but God, one thing we know, it's been a long uphill journey, but you've been right there by our side. And Lord, we don't take it for granted to tell you thank you. But with our heart full of grace and gratitude, we appreciate you and we love you. And we magnify your name on today in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for teaching experience and preaching power. Oh, God, you deliver the word on today. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. I wish somebody would celebrate the Lord for his goodness, his grace, and his amazing mercy on today. Amen. It's a good day to know the Lord. And if you don't know the Lord, this is a good day, a good opportunity for you to know him on today. Hallelujah. Um, we're going to be um, going through songs and, and psalms on today through the word of the Lord. So I don't have a pinpoint scripture as of yet that I want you to go to. You know, that's pro protocol um, precautiously that we normally do in our worship experience. Let's go to. So today we're going to follow and we're going to walk through. Amen. Praise the name of our Lord. But I just want to encourage someone today just for a few minutes. If I don't, um, I don't want to worry you. I don't want to uh, prolong the time. But I want you to know that throughout this year, it was the Lord. Amen. What did the pastor talk about today? Take it from me. Take this prophetic word. Take this word of encouragement, this word of hope. It was the Lord. Mm -hmm. It was the Lord. May the Lord watch between me and thee. That's all we got for you. It was the Lord. Your testimony stated and it said that for us on today. It was the Lord. I listened. And that's why our testimony service was a little prolonged on today because somebody needed to hear exactly what you had to say. And if I could sum up everything that you said, uh, I will simply end and conclude with this great benediction. It was the Lord. This year alone, we don't have to go back years, 30 years, 20 years, 10 years, or even three years. We can testify and tell the world that it was the Lord. Reminded of some lyrics that Cosmopolitan was singing down through the years. Uh, from out of nowhere, Jesus found me and I'm glad, I'm glad he did. My soul looks back and wonder how did I make it this far without the Lord. Well, I got some good gospel news for the glory carriers on this morning. Amen. It was the Lord. This year, as it comes to an end in just a few more days, it will go down in world history, not American history, but in world history as one of the worst years experienced in life. Amen. But one thing we know as believers that how we survived, how we got through it, how we have maintained, it was nobody but the Lord. I wish somebody would help me say it was the Lord. What? I listened to the people talk about how they're how they've endured sickness and how they endured this and that and how, how God has made a way and given provision for them to survive. It was no goodness of our own. I believe we can talk, tell, and testify that, that it was the Lord. Somebody shot back with me and say it was the Lord. It was the Lord. Looking at some biblical background histories, I'm reminded of young David. We've been talking about David all throughout this year, but young David, if you will, young David, young David uh, uh, was appointed to be king, but he wasn't sought out to be king. Uh, uh, Samuel had a different person in mind. Samuel thought it was going to be David's older brother. He thought it was going to be because he looked the part. Uh, he looked like he should be king. Uh, and God said, you looking at the you're looking at the outer appearance, uh, but I'm looking at the heart. Go and get the one. Uh, and I come to tell somebody, after all that we've experienced in life this year, uh, God saw fit to give us one more day because it could have went another way. But we know uh, that it was uh, it was the Lord. Ah, uh, uh, David, David, David was the, the sheep protector. He was the one who was farming. He was the one who was out in the pastures, uh, oh, taking care of the father's sheep. Uh, he was the youngest of the crew, if you will, uh, and his father uh, kept him there. He was there. He was there. He was there. And then Samuel came uh, and anointed David to be the successor of Saul. Uh, but then we move on just a few stories, a few chapters, a few 
verses ahead. Uh, David was sent to the battlefront uh, by his father to check, simply check on his brothers. Uh -huh. And after he checked on his brothers, uh, he realized uh, that something had to be done. Uh, David didn't try to do it in his own strength. David didn't try to do it on his own power. He didn't try to do it in his own will. Uh, but he knew uh, that these people, these Philistines, this giant, uh, who taunted the people of God, these giants, uh, these people uh, who mocked the people of God, uh, who mocked God's army, who literally cursed God, uh, had to be taken down. Ah, uh, uh, David said, uh, give me a shot. I wish Pastor Tracy was here to help me. Give me an opportunity. Put me in, if you will. Uh, we talked about this before. We're just ending the year. Ah, uh, so just go with us just for a little while. We just want to tell you it was the Lord. Ah, uh, uh, David, David, David. David, uh, he pleaded his case uh, and he pleaded his case to, to Saul. And so Saul, he said, don't, in essence, don't look at my frail uh, of the frailty of my, of my body. Uh, don't look at my age, uh, but I want you to understand uh, who you're talking to. I want you to understand who you're dealing with. Uh, it was me when the sheep uh, were under attack who went uh, and wrestled and killed the lion and the bear. Uh, he said, and that same me, uh, that same David uh, who did it then, uh, I believe by the strength of God um, that I will be able uh, under the authority and the, the power under the auspices of God uh, to do the same thing to this giant uh, put me in. Uh, David realized uh, that this was a challenge. Uh, nobody else would take this challenge. Uh, nobody else would go forth uh, and try to, they were scared. Uh, they were frightened. They were frightful for their lives. Uh, but little David said, uh, give me an opportunity. Give me a shot. Uh, and David um, was given the authority. David was given the access. Uh, David was given an opportunity to simply go uh, in front of uh, this giant uh, in effort uh, to kill and slay this giant. Ah, uh, uh, but David, uh, um, Saul, Saul gave David his armor, uh, and David couldn't fit this armor. Uh, it's something about that fitting of that armor that stood out to me. Uh, I come to tell somebody on today, uh, we realized that it was the Lord. Uh, it was not our anointing. It was not our power. It was not our platform. It was nothing good that we said. Uh, it was no, none of our works because our works couldn't save us, but it was the Lord. Uh, I looked at David uh, being put on this armor uh, and how Saul, uh, oh, you could literally see that it was too big, uh, but he wanted to make sure that David was covered. Uh, and I want to stop right here and tell somebody that all oh, year God had you covered. Uh, you didn't have to walk into anyone else's anointing. Uh, you didn't have to walk into anybody else's power. You didn't have to walk into anybody else's fire because God preordained and destined you for your own authority, for your own oil, for your own fire, and it was no goodness of your own. It was the Lord. We got enough T.D. Jakes. We got enough Juanita Bynum. So use your own power, use your own authority so that your testimony can remain. It was not me, but it was the Lord. David pulls it off and he comes comfortable uh, with his um, his slingshot uh, and with his stones uh, in his satchel. Uh, and they mocked David and they taunted David. Um, some of his brothers was mad and angry. Uh, and some of them uh, taunted him even the more. Uh, but David had to look past the crowd. Uh, I want somebody to know that's how you survived. Uh, you had to look beyond the crowd. Uh, you had to look beyond what you see uh, and see oh, that man. it was the Lord, that it was uh, it was the Lord. Uh, how did we get through the devastation? Uh, how did we get through the deterrence? Uh, how did we get through the mishaps? Uh, how did we get through the misunderstandings? Uh, it was nobody that brought us out uh, but the Lord, uh, but God. Uh, oh, that's a moment right there, but God. Uh, uh, David goes to the battlefront. Uh, uh, Goliath comes and says, uh, who, who, who do y'all think y'all are? Is this some kind of joke in essence uh, that you will send this boy? Uh, he said, I'll rip his head off and give it to the carcass. Uh, he said, I'll make sure that he dies. Uh, and send his body part back, uh, scattered in many places, in many positions. Ah, uh, oh, he pulled his javelin out. Uh, he pulled his sword out. Uh, oh, but David, uh, under the authority of the Holy Ghost, uh, I wish somebody would loose it this last Sunday. Uh, oh, David, under the auspices of the Holy Spirit. Uh, oh, David, under the anointing of God. Uh, oh, David, on fire for God. Uh, he told that old sleep foot giant, uh, 
He said, you come against me with your sword and with your javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord. How did we make it? We prayed and we pleaded the blood because we know that the blood still has power. How did we make it this year? We prayed and we prayed under the action of the Holy Spirit. And we know that it was nobody but God. It was the Lord. If you allow me to move on, David, in fear of his life, uh, he went and he joined the Philistine camp. Uh, now, we have to understand that the Philistines and Saul army were mutual enemies. Uh, uh, David found comfort there. He served there for over a year. Uh, uh, and the king had uh, the king had found pleasure in David. Uh, but the rulers, the commanders of the army wanted David to go back, uh, uh, fearful for their lives, uh, knowing the many triumphs of David, uh, knowing his slewing record, uh, knowing his killing record, if you will. Uh, Oh, but the people, uh, they wanted David to go back, uh, go back to where you belong because we're getting ready to go on army uh, and we don't want no ops on the camp. Lord, have mercy. Uh, oh, David oh, quivering. Uh, David scared for his life, uh, had to go back. Uh, and when he and his men went back, he found his home. Uh, he found this burned. Uh, he found Ziklag burned to the ground. Uh, Oh, all of their families and all of their livestock, everything gone, captured. Uh, oh, my God, on today. Uh, and David and the men wept. Uh, they wept till they had no more tears. Uh, and then the Bible says that David uh, came to himself. Uh, and David realized uh, he asked for the ephod uh, and he asked for the worship garment uh, so that he can go and call on the name of the Lord. Uh, his own men wanted to turn on him and slay him, uh, wanted him dead. Uh, you've taken us away from our families, uh, and now we ain't got nothing left. Uh, but David found himself in the midst of prayer. Uh, David found himself turning back to God. Uh, David found himself reinvigorating himself. Uh, David found himself being restored. Uh, David found himself talking to the master. Uh, and as he talked to the master, uh, he realized uh, that it was nobody but the Lord. Uh, David said, shall we proceed? Uh, shall we go forth? And the answer came back from God. You shall go forth. You shall pursue. And you shall conquer. I want to tell somebody. That's how we made it. Because we kept our face against the floor. Because we kept our trust in the Lord. And God gave us conquering power. Yes, we lost many along the way. We lost some very people dear and close to us. But I thank God for standing power on today. And to read realize that it was nobody but the Lord. Uh, I wish I had some help on this platform. Uh, it oh, was God. nobody but the Lord. Uh, how did I wake up this morning? It wasn't my alarm clock. Uh, it was nobody but the Lord. Uh, how did we get from danger seen and unseen danger? It was nobody but the Lord. Uh, it reminded me of a song uh, that we used to sing when we had power. Uh, it says, without God, uh, I can't do nothing. Uh, without God, uh, I would fail uh, without God. Uh, my life will be drifting uh, like a ship without a sail. Uh, hallelujah to his name. Uh, I wish somebody would say it's already done. Uh, I wish somebody would agree with me on today uh, that no matter what I face, uh, I am confident in this, uh, that God got me uh, and it was the Lord. Uh, through danger seen and unseen danger, uh, the hymn writer said, I have already come. Uh, but grace have brought me safe this far, uh, and grace will lead us on. Uh, is there anybody operating under grace? Uh, is there anybody grateful for grace? Uh, oh, God, I thank you for your grace. Uh, it was the Lord. Uh, Psalms 27, 13, and 14 says, uh, it says, I would have fainted it uh, unless I had believed uh, that I would see the goodness of the Lord. Uh, I've been telling you all year long, uh, don't faint now, uh, because in due season we shall reap uh, if we faint not, uh, because we know that it was the Lord. Uh, the song goes on to say, uh, I will see the goodness of the Lord uh, in the land of the living. Uh, but verse number 14 says, uh, wait on the Lord. Uh, 
Be yeah. of good courage, uh, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Uh, wait, I say, on the Lord. Uh, is there anybody on the last Sunday uh, of this year still waiting on God? Uh, because I'm waiting because I know uh, that it was the Lord. Uh, Lamentations yeah. 3, 22 to 23 says, uh, it is of the Lord's mercy uh, that yeah. we are not consumed uh, because his compassion fail not. Uh, they yeah. are new morning. Uh, Great is thy faithfulness. It was the Lord. Oh my God. Isaiah 59 and 19, and I got to get out of here, says, So they shall fear the name of the Lord. If I make my bed in hell, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, uh, and thy right hand shall hide me. Uh, it shall hold me. Uh, hallelujah to his name. Uh, it was the Lord. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody say, it was the Lord. Uh, somebody shout, it was the Lord. In this year, we have lost some people who mean so much to ministry on today. Hallelujah. We have lost some amazing people, but we remember that it was the Lord. Uh, and he doesn't make mistakes. Uh, we're grateful for the opportunity to love, support, and cherish them uh, on this side. And we await the opportunity to see them again on the other side. Uh, oh, it's been a rough and rocky year. Uh, but we know that it was the Lord uh, who still holds and keeps us. Uh, Sister Nancy Salters, uh, Mother Helen Lane, uh, Brother Watkins, um, Pastor Sandra Kelly. Uh, and we've all experienced loss in our personal lives and in our family. Uh, but even in their slipping away from church militant to church triumphant, uh, we believe by their testimonies uh, and the lives that they live, um, that they are asleep in the paradise of our God. Uh, and we are love and await his appearing. Uh, we take nothing for granted, but we know that it was the Lord. Uh, so as we get ready to end this year, uh, I want you to take the Lord on with you uh, everywhere you go uh, and realize that it was, uh, it was the Lord. Uh, how did I survive? How did I make it? How did I get through it? Oh, oh no. how am I still standing? Um, oh, how, how, how? It was nobody but God. Uh, I wish somebody said for the last time, come on, Pastor. It was, it was the Lord. Come on and clap your hands and bless the name of the Lord. It was the Lord. It was the Lord. Oh, come on, glorify God. Hallelujah. It was the Lord. It was nobody but the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Psalm said, can't nobody do me like Jesus. And can't nobody do me like the Lord can. We praise God for our pastor. What a mighty word on this Sunday morning. We give God the glory for him. Let God refill, refuel, replenish, restore, and reconcile back to him everything that he has poured out unto us this morning hallelujah and i just pray to accent what our pastor has already shared on this morning with it was the lord amen i give honor to god who is the head of my life to you my brothers and sisters in christ jesus to all the pastors on the roster my friend pastor green amen i dre i'm so glad to see you this morning i didn't see you two days in a row it's good to see you and i heard somebody say it and it's good to be seen. See, it's good to be seen. Amen. Praise God. I'm not overlooked. I, God acknowledges who we are, and that's all that truly matters. Amen. Pastor Roberts, uh, God loves you, and so do I. Amen. And I thank God for you all. I'm, uh, if you want to get a scripture, I'm just going to uh, look this morning. It's going to come from uh, Genesis 25. And I'm going to look in the message version when I read it. So if you don't got the message version, that's all right. I'm going to jump around a few scriptures and I'm going to get on out of here. Uh, it's going to be scriptures 21 through 23. Then I'm going to move down to 27 through 32. I'll look in the message version. And uh, God is, is really dealing with us uh, coming into 2021. And, and what he shared with me is going to be a lot of 
without identity and identifying who you are in Christ Jesus. And we've been teaching uh, on the topic, favorite for God's purpose, amen, in, in, in our services and throughout December. And I'm just going to conclude as we go into 2021, the dangers of not knowing you have purpose, amen. Because see, it is the Lord who done these things for us because he had a purpose far greater than our minds could ever understand. And see, we'll try to figure out why we're going under or why we're going through or why God calls these shifts and why am I in a lonely season? Why does it feel like I'm being depleted? What is happening? What is happening? God says, you have purpose. You have purpose and it is mine. And it's imperative because God has revealed it to us. And I just want to declare what somebody like Paul declared, Romans 8, 38 through 9. He said, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, y'all with me, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. But let me start with my reference scripture. I just want to help somebody with that today. Amen. Man, be persuaded, be convinced, know that you know that you know that God is with you, God is for you, so who can be against you? Reading the scripture, 21 through 23, Genesis 25, message version. Isaac prayed hard to God for his wife because she was barren. God answered his prayer and Rebecca became pregnant. But the children tumbled and kicked inside her so much that she said, if this is the way it's going to be, why go on living? She went to God to find out what was going on. And God told her, two nations are in your womb two people's butting heads while still in your body. One people will overpower the other and the older will serve the younger. Jump down to 27. It says the boys grew up. Esau became an expert hunter and outdoorsman. Jacob was a quiet man, preferring living indoors among the tents. Isaac loved Esau because he loved his game, but Rebecca loved Jacob. One day, Jacob was cooking a stew. Esau came in from the field, starved. Esau said to Jacob, give me some of that red stew. I'm starved. That's how he came to be called Edom Red. Jacob said, make me a trade. My stew for your rights as the firstborn. Esau said, I'm starving. What good is a birthright if I'm dead? Uh-oh, this is it. This is the danger of not knowing your purpose. This is the danger of not knowing your purpose. So when God gave me this topic, I chose the scripture because the two characters in the Bible that stood out was Jacob and Esau. So we first look at brother Esau, whose name means Harry. When we were born, he was born, he was covered in hair, which signifies for me the covering and the protection, just as he came into the world with it. And some of us didn't even know you was born in safety. You didn't even recognize that God birthed you covered in the name of Jesus. I don't care what it looked like. God said, I birthed you with a covering. And then there is Jacob, whose name in the Hebrew means heal, because when his brother was ex exiting the womb, he grabbed his heel for delivery. See, that's not always a bad thing. Some of us got out on the heels of those being delivered. Come on, somebody, recognizing that you was coming out, and so am I. How many know you can grab a hold to the heel of those you see being delivered? Don't hate on their delivery. Huh? Catch a heel. Catch a heel so you can experience what God is doing. So as we read in the beginning of the scripture, God already knew that Esau would sell himself short. And that's why he told his mother, Rebecca, that the older would serve the younger. Y'all with me in the scripture? And he also witnessed how Esau gave up his birthright as the firstborn to his younger sibling for a bowl of stew. Oh my God, dangerous. As we examine the story and we look at
that in the spiritual realm, what we need to see is that Esau, as a blessed and favorite child of God, who does not even recognize who he is in the kingdom of God. Didn't I just tell you 2021 going to be key on identity? You better know who you are, who you are belonging to, and what his purpose is according to your life. Because if he did know who he was, we back at Esau when he was hungry, he, he might have, you might have heard him say something like what David was saying in the Psalms. See, pastor was all in the Psalms. The Psalms are mighty. Psalms 22, 26 through 27 says, the afflicted will eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him will praise the Lord. Let your heart live forever. All the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord and all the families of the nations will worship before you. But Esau was relying on his own strength. Mm -mm -mm. No, no. See, it was the Lord. It was the Lord. See, don't rely on your own strength. You will fail. You will come up short. You may feel like you're getting momentum, but without God, it is not going to last. Neither will it be sustained. So Esau was relying on his own strength, on what he thought was his own resources, not realizing that all that he had and everything that he was belonged to the Lord already. Who am I talking to? So why not? I reference the one who created you rather than look to everything outside of you to sustain you. God said, why are you concerned about who didn't show up? Why are you concerned about who didn't call? Why are you telling me these things? You ought to be looking to me, the one who created you, who brought you in covered, who had a purpose oh, from right. the very beginning. Before you even hit your mama womb, I had a purpose on your life. But this is where we begin to see the dangers of not knowing who you are in Christ Jesus and not knowing that God got an awesome plan for your life. I'm almost done, y'all. Brother Esau was a hunter, a gatherer, and toiled the land. He killed his food daily and ate based on a daily hunting. So when the time came when he was vulnerable and his own will could not keep him, oh my God, rather than turn into the merciful one, he went to get mercy from his brother. Mm. That's what he did. Oh, don't get me wrong. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with asking help from your brother. I'm not saying that. But without the invitation of God on your search, uh, you are opening yourself up to wolves in sheep's clothing. I'm just helping somebody on today. If I don't take the Lord along with me to move and work through them, I'm expecting you to be in God's position. And God will not be in competition with your mama, with your brother brother, with your pastor, with your teacher, he will not be in competition. Bring the Lord along with you. So we're going to look a little deeper and come on. Esau was gifted as a hunter who would find his food, kill it, and eat it. He eat it, but he ate it all. Mm-mm-mm. He ate it all in one walk. And God wants me to help somebody to know today, with your gift, he is also giving you wisdom. With your purpose, he is also giving you wisdom. Let us tap into the wisdom because I believe that God would have told him or showed Esau how to stow the meat for tomorrow. Oh, come on. He would have showed him that because I believe God doesn't give you vision without giving you a plan for provision. I believe that God will give you a vision not for it to bottom out, but for it to sustain. Come on, help today in this place. And then we look at Jacob as we close, because he's the final one. He was a farmer. He planted seeds and operated on harvesting. I got about three more minutes. And a spiritual principle that pays richly, he operated from. He operated from sowing with a harvest time in mind. That's what he did, because he recognized his identity in what God had given him. He didn't operate on a hand-to-mouth mentality. Oh, that's a whole nother sermon, y'all. But he operated on seed time and harvest time. So I just need somebody to get a revelation today. In your identity in 2021, hallelujah, Jesus, know that God has already made provision for the vision that he has given you. In your 2021, you 
you can declare that God will meet every need according to his riches and glory because he got a purpose and it's not mine. I'm favored because I'm operating out of the purpose of God. And God is a great God. God is a God of abundance. God is a God of increase. God will make sure whatever he brought and birthed in you shall be delivered. Come on, somebody, in the name of Jesus. Somebody is receiving what you need to receive on the this day. And I'm closing with the importance of identity because I can revisit all that. I got about eight pages. I ain't even going to fool with that. I have to pour it out when God give it to me. Listen, I'm going to deal with the identity on today because in the earth realm, when you have an ID card, hallelujah, Jesus, if you get cooperating in this realm without identification and you get pulled over by the enforcers of the law come on somebody and you don't have it on you that is no evidence of who you say you are we need some proof we need some evidence hallelujah jesus and if you ain't got it on you they're gonna give you a ticket <laughs> you got the pay come on preach woman preach Come on, you got to pay. Uh huh. Oh, I left it at home. Oh, oh, it's in my back pocket. Oh, I forgot I washed it. So, so, and this and that. God is saying, you better know who you are at all times, under all conditions. Don't get caught without your ID. Don't get caught not knowing who you are. Don't get caught uh, in the midst of the circumstances of life. And you can't provide ID in the name of Jesus. How do I know this is true? Because when we all get to heaven, the Bible said, uh, and I sing the song often, none but the righteous uh, shall see God. Uh, I got to know that I know that I know that I am on the Lord's side. And when I go into my 2021, surely I shall present my idea. One more place to go with that on my last minute. Hallelujah. They make sure that after about three to five years, if your ID expires, you got to renew your ID. Come on, somebody. So don't think that the fire dwindling in your life, in your ministry, means that you're not still called by God, not still with a purpose. God is saying uh, it's time to renew uh, your idea. You was in danger uh, of forgetting your purpose, uh, but now uh, is the time uh, to renew your idea. Go and take a new picture. Go get your hair fixed right. Uh, put a little blot on your face. Uh, make sure you smell oh, real good. Oh, because this picture got to last for the next five years. So make sure you're ready to present your idea. Glory. Glory to God. I do, y'all. Glory. Pastor, come on and open this door. Get in charge of this place. Come on. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm Hallelujah. trying to make sure, Pastor, I'm ready for my ID. Glory to God. Renew your ID. Lord, have mercy. Are you ready for a new moment are you ready for a new opportunity are you ready for that refreshing are you ready hallelujah reverend wallace just said i'm in line to renew my id hallelujah it's high time it's a good time it's a wonderful time it's a now time to get it right hallelujah to do that thing for god amen hallelujah the doors of the church are open this is your opportunity this is your season this is your moment this is the point where we've been waiting for all throughout this service to extend yes. to you this wonderful hand of fellowship to for us to renew our id have you gone away have you gone astray have you not ever known or have not ever heard but you ended up on this zoom platform you ended up on our Facebook channel, you ended up on our YouTube, and you heard this sound on today, and now it's time to get you an ID. For some, it's gonna be a renewal, and for some, it's gonna be a brand new start. Do you remember when you first got your license? You remember, you thought you were ready, you thought you were grown. Come but on, come on that's just experience. It's time for the ID, hallelujah. I remember when I took my picture, I don't wanna show this one. I took an ID picture and I wasn't satisfied, but I had to take that ID for four years. Oh, but when you I got back, 
Do you hear what I'm saying? When I got back, oh, bless his name. Uh, when I got back to do it again, I made sure that my hair was, uh, I ain't got that, you know, uh -huh. I made sure it was shaved real good. I make sure that, look, they couldn't smell no cologne, but I make sure I had lotioned up, make sure that I looked like something because I knew that I didn't want that same experience. Watch it right there. Come on, preacher, preach. I didn't want that same experience. So I wanted to make sure that I was ready. And I want to make sure today that we are ready because the Lord is coming back. And I want to make sure today, we want to make sure this family, these churches, this ministry, hallelujah, we want to make sure that you got your ID, that when the Lord call you, when he pull your number, when he call your name, you can present your ID and say, this is me. Hallelujah. It's not to say who your name is, but just to say servant. So he can say, well done. Anybody ready for your ID? Oh, hallelujah. Some of us need some renewals. Hallelujah. And some just need to get in line and get it done. But whatever you need to do, don't you let this day go by without making sure that you have your ID. Oh, Hallelujah. Man. Some have gone on to the judgment. Some have gone on to the great beyond and not with the proper identification. Glory to God. Oh, but when he call our name, be sure that you got the right ID. Lord have mercy. Pastor, you done blessed me real good today. I'm trying to keep my composure and my seat because I will listen, listen, I got a couple of more years on this ID, but the next ID I want to take, I want to make sure that it's even better than this one. Do you hear what I'm saying? We're getting ready to go to a new year and you need to expect, hallelujah, a renewal of your relationship and righteousness with God. Hallelujah. If you need the Lord, inbox us, put it in the chat. Hallelujah. Call us. Hallelujah. And go to our website. Let us know. We want to make sure that you are connected and that you know exactly how to get your ID. Hallelujah. So you will not be misidentified so that they don't have to do a character assassination. So they don't have you don't have to worry about if anybody stole your credit, your ID, your identification. You're not going to need um, what, what's the people call credit? It's not credit one. Whatever that source is for recovering your ID, this one is authentic in righteousness. And we want to make sure simply that you're ready. Hallelujah. If you need the Lord, come on and let us know on today. We're grateful for this opportunity. Hallelujah. For us to present and give Christ to you on today. That's the only purpose why we're here, that you can celebrate and that you can have a renewal experience. And we're looking forward to every Sunday morning being an ID renewal in the year 2021. Anybody ready for it? Mm, I've been saved a long time. I promise you, some people have been saved 60 years. You need to renew your identity. Oh, my God. Oh, you can caught up in too much religious stuff. You need to renew your identity. Do you hear what I'm saying? Come on in. Help us. Help us. Help us. You've been holding on to some stuff. You need to renew your identity. You've been waiting on God and God waiting on you. You need to renew your identity. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's some things. Listen, a song, and I got to move on. Get ready, Sister Jackie. Ah, it was a song that says, I moved from my old house and I moved from my old friends. I moved to a new way of life. Thank God I moved out. When you move, you do a change of address. Mm, make sure that you got your identity. The doors of the church is open. Um, if there's one, please let us know. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you on today. And we thank you. We glorify and we magnify your name. Lord, for you've called us to recovery and to renewal and to a new place in you. We pray now, God, that the souls will answer. Oh, God, that we will adhere to the word on today. Not only knowing that it was you, but making sure, God, that we're standing right that we stand in right relationship and covenant with you with our identity. In Jesus' name, we pray. We thank you for the manifest. We thank you for the souls that are coming forth. We thank you for the hundreds and the thousands and the millions that shall recover and renew their identity. In Jesus' name, amen. Now let's go to Sister Jacqueline Watson for our church announcements. Amen. Good morning. Today is Sunday, December 27th, 2020, and these are your ministry reminders and updates for St. Peter, Faith Tabernacle, and the City of Praise Church of Chicago. December is a wonderful month to celebrate Christ and the birthdays of our members. Please say a warm happy birthday to Mother Carolyn Roberts, because today is her birthday. Also, please send a warm happy birthday to Sister Sheena Coleman. Today is her birthday. And please, let's not forget, come Thursday, send a warm happy birthday to Reverend Ethel King. Her birthday will be Thursday, December 31st. On Thursday, December 31st at 6 p.m., join the Southwest Ohio District for our virtual New Year's 
service here on Zoom. Let us come and celebrate the Lord together one more time before the dawning of a new year. Are you in need of financials for 2020? Please see the finance team for submission. Join our prayer team on the wall for 12 days of consecration, beginning Friday, January 1st, 2021 through Wednesday, January 12th, nightly at 7 p.m., except on Sundays. Prayer is during our normal scheduled gatherings, Friday and Saturday on the conference call line. Saturday, January 2nd, join the mission movement for outreach, feeding our church and neighbors, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. noon, on the south and 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. up north. A perfect opportunity to drop by and get your empowerment essentials. Beginning Tuesday, January 5th, 2021, join our prayer and intercession team as we relaunch our fasting every Tuesday, 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. or 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. or 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Join us as we seek the presence of God. Join us for our pastor's 44th birthday and welcome back celebration on his actual birthday, Saturday, January 9th, 2021 at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Come and wish our pastor well and share in the celebration. Do you need a refresher of who we are and what we believe? Have you never attended a connections class? Well, come on and join pastors 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time for auxiliary meetings, ordination classes, and other classes you may have asked for. Join us also on Tuesday night for Christian education at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. This class is designed for a biblical, inspirational, and interactive overview of our Sunday school lesson. Video with us or just dial on in. This is another way we are staying connected even greater. Next, join us on Wednesday, my favorite time, Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, our YPI and our HYPU, known as the Now Generation. Now, they will be live on Zoom. Join us as we empower this generation of believers to expand their love and life with Christ. Next, join us on Thursday morning for a recharge, 6 a.m. to 6.15 a.m. on our conference line. 15 minutes of recharging and declaring victory over your day. Join us for a Christian education class every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time here on Zoom. Classes are designed to equip, empower, and evangelize the believer to better living. We await the time of God's strong hang of victory that we will be able to be back in our assemblies. Until then, remain right here and everywhere. Our ministry can find you safe. Please remember to stay connected with us on YouTube and Twitter at FBH Chicago. Also, you can find us on Facebook, FBH Chicago Official, and our website, FBHChicagoOfficial.org. Luke 6 and 38 says, give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you use it will be measured back to you. Remember that we are a sewing ministry. To donate to the City of Praise, you can give by Cash App at dollar sign FBH Chicago or our website www.fbhchicagoofficial.org and click donations. To sew into St. Peter, use our Cash App at dollar sign St. Peter FBH or you can donate via Zelle with our email address. St. Peter, FBH, the number one at hotmail.com. We are here for you. Do you have a prayer request or want to let us know how we are doing? Visit our website at www.fbhchicagoofficial.org.
www.prayerforcentralpoint.org and click on contact us. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. We are continuing to pray for those that are sick and shut in, bereaved, and those who said, remember me. Members in bereavement, Missionary Lisa Robinson. Members in the hospital, none reported, amen. Let us keep all our precious saints and the world in prayer. This concludes our announcements for Sunday, December 27th, 2020. Please govern yourselves accordingly. Amen. Praise the name of our God. Aren't you glad that you made it to worship service on today? Aren't you excited about what the Lord is getting ready to do in the year 2020? But he's a right now God and whatever he's going to do then, he can do right now. Amen. And we're looking forward to the manifold blessings. We're looking forward to the presence of God blowing and exploding on our behalf as we continue to spread this great gospel. Again, to our YouTube audience, to our Facebook audience, thank you for being a part of this um, worship service. Let's celebrate one more time. Amen. Our young people for an amazing, outstanding job. They've been doing this all year long. And we're so grateful and thankful again to our young people for making ministry magical here at St. Peter and the City of Praise. Thank you all so much. And again, to our youth leaders, our DRE and our um, YPI supervisors, and to our parents, thank you for allowing your children to support what we believe is meaningful ministry. Amen. We want to do bigger and better things in the year to come, and we're trusting God to give us all that we need in order to make that happen. Again, on behalf of the City of Praise Church of Chicago and St. Peter Faith Tabernacle, thank you for being a part of this amazing worship experience. Don't forget to sow. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to sow. Don't forget to share, because that's how we remain. Amen? Amen. To all of our guests, thank you again for being a part of this platform. I'm trying to go to our screen says 100 do we have anything else amen listen don't forget to join us on thursday night the southwest ohio district we're going to be all together for our watch service um well, our new year's eve service amen amen it's going to start at six o'clock come and hear our district evangelists go forth on thursday night amen again to sister sheena coleman that's my teach happy birthday teach happy birthday teach can we highlight this, uh, our teach pastor can we highlight teach amen can we put Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Amen. That's all things city right there. That's all. Yes. Things city. Happy That's birthday. City. Come on. You can unmute yourself and tell I teach happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sheena. Happy birthday, Sheena. Many, many more. Amen. Amen. Many more. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. And then we have Mother Carolyn Roberts. It's Mother Roberts' birthday. Yeah. We got two gems celebrating on today. Can we highlight Mother Carolyn Roberts? She kind of down there in the cut. Yeah, Amen. Happy birthday. Amen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, birthday Mother. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Birthday. Amen. Praise the Lord. You can join Mother Roberts in her little birthday party. She'll dig on Zoom this afternoon at four o'clock if you can, <laughs> if you will. Amen. Amen. We can do more. Amen. But we want to make sure that you're celebrated on Thursday. We're going to be celebrating our own Reverend Ethel King for her birthday. Amen. On Thursday, we're saying it's been a wonderful month of celebration. We're saying thank you all so much for a wonderful and amazing year. We're doing all of this because this is the last Sunday, even though we will be fellowshipping throughout the year. This is the last Sunday. And we want to tell you our Facebook audience and to our YouTube audience who allow us to come into your homes, your uh, places of business, Everywhere you allow us for these couple of months that we've been live, we want to tell you thank you for your support, uh, for being here. Sister Hicks, thank you so much for your presence weekly, blessing us. Sister James, I have been blessed. blessed. Praise the name of the Lord, Sister James. We're so grateful for our fire baptized family. Amen. Sister Stevens, and to all of our, our amazing Facebook, um, Sister Rita, amen. We're so grateful for you, Sister Large. Um, I don't want to start calling Pastor Hall. So everybody that's on all of these platforms, we're so grateful for you. Thank you for the opportunity. We're better because of your presence. And we want to continue to fellowship and love each other. Amen. We're trying to make sure that I don't have anything else before we conclude. Amen. Praise the name of our God. Uh, Pastor Hill, do we have anything else? 
Yes, I just want to remind the saints. Amen. I just want to remind the saints. I got a sad by sad that we are honoring our pastor for uh, on January the 9th for his birthday and his welcome back celebration. Come on, somebody. We are grateful. Amen. For him, his amen. life, his love. Amen, amen. And that he's poured out to us. So please, please, when I reach out to you to do something, let it just be yes and amen. That's all. Amen. So we're so grateful because he's true. Truly a man after God's own heart. And we want to make sure that he has an amazing time and we just want to be obedient to the Lord. So thank you, Pastor. For let, uh, let me uh, remind the saints, amen, that Pastor Hill and Sister Hunter, amen, and I could put her up here too so it can look like a tripod, will be you know, executing assignments and asking that you please be prepared to give and to sow and do all those great things that are necessary. All things wonderful in Jesus Christ. I'm done. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Listen, I'm so grateful to be a part of not only a testifying church, but a celebrating church. And I celebrate you wonderful people of God. I really, really do. Amen. We're not a church family. We are just simply family. And thank you for allowing us to be a part of your amazing family. Amen. Amen. All right. It's time for us to depart from this place, but not from the presence of the Lord. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his own glory. To the only wise God, our Savior, be both majesty, glory, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Till we meet again, we leave you the most capable hands of our master and our creator. In Jesus' name, amen. You can go amen. ahead and stuff in fellowship one with another. Thank you so much, Facebook and YouTube. It's been a blast all year with you. God bless you all. God bless. Amen. Bless, bless you. Wonderful, Stop. Bless Wonderful messages, Pastor. Wonderful. Amen. Amen. We ready for 2021. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> 2021. Amen. I enjoyed the message today from both of you all. Amen. Pastor Roberts and Pastor Hill. I tell you, you all preached today. <laughs> Amen. 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 Yeah. Thank you, Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, we got some good more preaching coming. Evangelists on Thursday night. Amen. So let's stay.